hello everyone good afternoon so in last class uh, we learned like get next work part one okay so in that one what we saw okay so we saw this entire flow okay that how get next works and also we learned that how we can do the routing okay so we learned how to how we can do the routing to work list we learn how we can do the routing to work basket and and how the get next work settings works okay so if you remember we learned that if you are getting checking this checkbox gets from the work use first then what will happen system will first check that uh, if is there any uh, cases are there in in the assigned work list so let's say this is the assigned work list of this manager one okay so first if i'm checking this check one the system will checking this checkbox the system will check that is there any cases is there is there any this approval work basket okay so this is that the first things okay get from the work queues first okay if i'm unchecked then what will happen first system will check that is there any case is there in the manager work list okay if there is no case then it will try to find out from this get from the work queues i mean even though it's not checked okay and then the next one is that merge or work all merge work queues so what happens in that case okay system will merge that okay so let's say here i have given another uh this one okay work queue like three work queues okay so what is the meaning i, I explained just but i explained in the last sessions but i'm just recapping here that if i'm using like uh, okay if i'm not checking this merge work queues what will happen system will first check that is there any cases in this work basket yes so that case to users if not then go to this one if not then go to this one okay so this is like a sequence here if i'll merge then what will happen system will merge entire things together and then um give us the best okay or the highest priority cases to in front of user so that he can work upon okay and if we uncheck this one okay if we check this one use from the uh, all work queues assignments in the user team so user team means that like if users belongs to a work group a then let's say it 10 work work basket also belongs to a work group okay so if 10 work baskets belongs to uh, that work group users work group then it will combine all the cases from that all work basket and show okay based on that like your skills and ratings okay so today okay so this is the recap of the last class okay and then also we saw that okay uh, we can add the get next work on that uh, ui okay and then on the get one when we click the pega first executes do ui actions and then it starts from the get next work and then it executes this entire flow okay so quickly what i'll do okay i have in this sessions i missed to add that get next work button okay so quickly i'll add it that get next work button here okay so that will also be recap for you so i'll open this sections quickly and then just save as this one and save as to my applications rule set and then add a button here just below discover so to add a button we'll go to actions and then add a button and we can add actions on click what we want to do so uh, like uh, in last class also i i told that yes we have actions on click we'll get uh, get next work actions on this click on this get next work actions what happens pega executes that uh, like do ui actions and from do ui actions we call get next work and then whole the complete entire flow gets executed so this is done and then just i'll rename this one to get next okay so this is done now we got the button we'll get the button on the ui so let's see now okay so what is the today's agenda so today today today's agenda is we are going to cover skills routing and how we use that like how a person can work on that skills routing cases okay so like the how get next work will work okay so let's first see how we can do the routing okay skills works routing so before doing that okay what is skills so skills is like let's say that okay even though you belongs to team but you don't have to let's say okay i I mean like you can write some code okay but if you don't have a skills to write a functions then you'll not write okay you have to assign to someone else to do that okay in the similar way if you have actions if you have like let's say you are working in in, in one applications where you have to approve the transaction amount okay so you have the skills to approve okay if the amount is thousands or less than thousands okay and above thousands you don't have the skills to approve okay so that is where we use a skills okay so skills like you have the skills to work something or not okay so that is skills so in pega we can create our honest skills also 
but we'll be using the out of the box skill so let's say i'll give english okay so this manager has the skills to work on english and then rating is like how much ratings okay like uh, what is your skills level so rating defines the skills level so let's say if i have the one okay that means uh, in english i have the rating one so i can only work on those cases okay which requires english skills and rating one okay or uh, i can like let's say if i have a 10 okay 10 rating so less than we can work but not the highest one so let's say okay a case okay case which requires okay skills english and then rating one then i can work because my rating is my level is 10 so i can work one to ten okay but if my level is one okay and then the case requires level five then i cannot work so this is very important okay uh, for skill based routing and then to work upon that case so if you have that highest rating you can work on the lower one okay i mean that if case requires but if case requires highest and if you have the lower one you cannot work okay so let's first do a routing okay so how we can do the routing okay so we have to come to uh, uh, like uh, i have already assignments for approved reject so in, in this one what i'll do i'll select this one and then select instead of selecting walk queue what this time i'll select okay yeah so walk queue because basically we want to route to walk queue now here in place of two work basket we'll select two skill work basket so we are appending another skills also that yes it will route to work basket only but with skills okay that means if you have the skills even though you have this access to this work basket you cannot work on this case unless and until you have the skills that is skills okay so let me add one skill so here we can do the routing okay so here we are saying route a case to this approval work basket with skills english and level five okay so that means who can work on this case and we can say required yes this skills is required if you do not marking like if you're not checking then without skills also we can work so now here we are saying okay that who can work on this case so who has the approval work basket and who has that rating uh, called skills and then level either five or more than five if you have a level less than five then you cannot work on this case okay so let's uh, submit this case create a case okay and then we'll go and do a get next work and we'll see so i'll create a case now so still i have that leave application okay so i'll just fill some data okay so data is not coming anyway that's fine i'll just submit it okay so now we created okay we created and we came to approve reject okay so now let's see where that case went okay so if you remember from last class okay any case which is going to work basket we can see in assigned as work basket instances so i'll click here assigned as work basket now we can see that a2 okay now here we can see that okay that this has been assigned to approval work basket so last time if you remember i showed that when we are assigning a case to a work list or work basket a property which holds the detail okay of the assignee and that property name is px assigned operator so we can see somewhere so here we can see that approval work basket now addition to that work basket what we need more okay we need the skills so if you come in the bottom we can see that yes we have like we can add more skills so that is where we can see the repeating index okay so required skill zero and we are saying that yes you need a skill english okay with the rating five so now if i have the english skills english five and rating um, more than five then i can walk else i cannot work okay so now what i'll do okay i have i'll assign this manager i have already assigned approval work basket and also a skills english a skills english and rating one so according to this settings okay i should not work i should not be able to get this case okay so i'll log off and log in with this manager operator and see if i'm getting this case so i'll say manager one and then rules so now i'll do a get next work okay see there are currently no assignments available for you to work on okay but yeah this operator has that like access to this work basket but why he is not able to work because his rating is not matching with the case rating okay so now what we'll do we'll increase this rating so i'll increase to let's say six okay and then i'll just log off and log in again and and then do a get next work okay so now i'll hit get next work so this time i got a case 
one second it's loading yeah see this time we got that case okay why because i had that rating okay equal or more than the case required okay so that is how this this works okay the skills rating so we learned that skills rating and we can have more skills also so now i'll show you i'll add another skills okay so we can have two skills also and so this time i'm saying that okay you should have french as well okay and for this french also the minimum rating required is five okay so now this time i should have both the skills then only i'll be able to work on this case okay so i'll create one more case so i'll create another case one second there is some mismatch happening just give me a moment let me fix that but why this is happening server and let you I let me log off and log in once so now we have already created that okay i mean like assign two skills okay so i'll create a case now so i'll create a case from here only apply leave and then submit it there is no ui fine okay we don't need that ui now again this case where this case went it it went to that same work basket so let's go and check that assigned at work basket so this is very important as a developer okay if qa is testing then they can report the bug but as a developer you can make sure that where the case is going what the skills is getting assigned to that case i mean like the required skills is there so now if i go here and then we can see that that we have a two skills okay english and french is required okay so now I'll, if i'll go and do a get next work with manager so i'll approve this case okay so now there is no case to his queue okay here there is no case and then now if i do a get next work i should not get any case because i have the skills to work on english okay but i don't have a skills to work on german okay so now what i'll do i'll log up this operator and go ahead and update his id with the required skills okay so here we required skills is french so here i'll add french also to that manager one id okay so now i'll go ahead and add that french five so minimum also we can add and then submit it login and do a get next one okay so now if i do a get next work i should get that case there is some issue in the portal but i'll just refresh and then see we got that case so see like we are seeing that how that skills is playing the role okay and we use a lot in real time applications okay and one of the example as i as i as i mentioned right that if that amount or if you have a particular skills okay that then only you can approve so this is this is how the skill based routing works okay now routing okay so let me quickly recap what we did okay so what we did is that while routing we assigned a skills okay to the case okay and then case will have the required skills and then ratings okay and if any users wants to access that case okay he should have that uh, like he should have that uh, skills and then the required rating so here if you can see i'm just recapping that we use like a uh, route to work queue and then the router is to a skill work basket here we are giving the required uh, skills and then ratings we can see in future classes that how we can use this dynamic also because for, for now we can just have that from the drop down only we can select and we can give that hard coded value labels okay so in future classes maybe we can see how we can do this dynamic okay but that is how we are routing and then to work upon these cases we need that skills and the ratings uh, in that uh, operator uh, in the operator id okay and when we do the get next work pega will uh, pega will check for these things and then it will show the cases okay so that's it on the skill based routing in the next sessions we'll see how we can customize the get next work and how we can use the sla as well